Dear fourth semester CSE stream students, welcome back into my another video. Hope you are all doing well and hope you have started your preparation for your examination. Examinations are very near now. So far, we have discussed the passing packages and important questions for the subject ADA, uh, BCS 401, and also for microcontrollers, right? BCS 402. So today I'm with the database management system BCS 403. Is it a subject code? So I will discuss here model-wise important questions and for uh, as far as problems are concerned, I will tell you later on which papers you have to refer right so let us start with the model one over here discuss the advantage of using the dbms approach discuss main characteristics of dbms explain a three schema architecture with a neat diagram why do we need mapping between schema levels explain er diagram with example and discuss the different types of user-friendly interfaces define the following these are some small definitions which you have to go through that is entity types weak entity types participation constant dbms catalog cardinality ratio attributes and its types snapshot and database explain the component modules of dbms and their interaction with the help of a diagram with a block diagram explain the different phases of database design this is all about model first now let's uh, start with the model second over here that is briefly discuss different types of uh, update operations on a relational database Next, we have explained the ER2, a relational mapping algorithm with a suitable example of each step. This is super important questions, dear friends. You should kept uh, this thing in mind that this question is uh, frequently asked in the VT examination. Next is qu uh, queries in relational algebra. Uh, examples you have to practice. For that, you have to refer paper 18 CS53. Okay. So, this is one thing. Next is... Uh, Sorry, this question is from model third, which I will discuss later on. So next question from the model second is explain the relational algebra operation from set theory with example, uh, you like unary, binary and additional relational operation. So this is all about model second. And this is the model third question. Uh, what is meant by integrity constraint? Explain the importance of uh, referential integrity constraint. How referential integrity constraint is implemented in SQL, right? So another question is from model third is here. Are here what is a need for normalization explain 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf with example explain informal design guideline for relational schema design what is functional dependency explain inference rules for functional dependency with proof next questions from model third are here uh, what is multi-value dependency and explain 4nf with example write sql query for the following data about database scheme like employee workers uh, company this will be given data will be given you have to focus on the problematic part as i mentioned earlier that you have to refer 18 cs 53 for practice these papers you have to refer if you are unable to get these papers let me know in the comment section so that i will provide these papers okay and the problems on functional dependency most important one go through it and also refer the model question paper for the problems next is model 4 explain the following component used in sql with example nested queries correlation nested queries aggregate function group by and having class explain acid property of transaction and system a log and uh, explain transaction support in sql what is schedule uh, explain conflict and view serializability schedule with example illustrate insert delete update alter and drop statements in sql how are triggers defined in sql explain with example with an example explain sorted procedures in sql Next is uh, with a neat diagram, explain transaction diagram of a transaction. Okay, sorry, this is transition diagram of a transaction. Okay, last is model 5. We have here uh, briefly discussed the two phase locking uh, techniques. Super important question for concurrency control when deadlock and starvation problem occurs and uh, explain how these problems can be resolved. Why concurrency control and recovery are needed in DBMS? Explain types of problems that may occur when two simple transactions run currently. Uh, okay so next is uh, what is nqsql explain the cap theorem and uh, what is nqsql graph or database explain neo4j uh, what are document based nqsql systems explain basic operations uh, crud in mango db okay mongo db uh, so these are all uh, questions from database management theoretical questions as far as problems are concerned which i mentioned earlier refer the paper 18 cs 53 uh, so that you will be on the safer side and for these type of subjects sometimes papers are un unexpected as far as video examinations are concerned so you, these questions should be at your utmost priority then later on what uh, if time permits you should go through another topics which are left 
uh, as far as your syllabus is concerned so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates and friends to in order to cover these important questions earlier and uh, pass the subject in the first attempt itself okay thanks for watching my video